गाइस सो वेलकम बैक आई हैव काइंड ऑफ बीन रियली बिजी एस्पेशली ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन बट देन देर आर कपल ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई वॉज एबल टू डू आई वॉज एक्चुअली एबल टू फिक्स दी आर डी सो आई वॉज एबल टू पेंट दिस एज वेल एज दीज मिरर्स सो एल show you how they look like so let me take you to a better angle so these were really rusted and pretty bad so i painted those also there was a lot of pitting in the wheel so i clean all that pitting and temporarily painted silver because shops are closed and i don't want to let this look crusty and rusty i also painted the rear mudguard to color match the front mudguard uh, there was some rust in the silencer which is painted the side uh, footrest is also painted uh, so this i'm going to put the original one i have also painted the springs of the rear shock this is kind of a temporary thing so that uh, you know till the shops open uh, it doesn't look that bad so that was the work i did on the rd unfortunately i didn't have the presence of mind to use a camera and plus i didn't have that kind of a time because once you record at that time you need more time like you know you have to ensure that all the um, takes are good so usually uh, i do things in one take because i'm pretty lazy i don't wait for those perfect shots so yeah i was also trying to install the uh, um, engine cover that is freshly painted because uh, i actually misplaced the double sided tape that was needed to stick those yamaha logos i have new ones um and once i actually painted this that is the time this started looking very ugly so i don't want to do a complete frame of restoration but looks like that is the direction i'm heading in because of the difference in the finish and trust me you know i've been really enjoying painting over these days and it has been very kind to me as well like it's not super difficult um what i have uh, i have painted has turned out really good so look at this mirror so the coverage was a little issue like you can see the primer underneath uh, so probably i might have to paint these mirrors again because i had a uh, little less black color so the government of kerala has uh, gone ahead and made a decision to open workshops so if the workshops open obviously uh, the paint shops will be also open so ultimately that would mean that i can buy some more paint and then i can probably start the restoration of the big bore build uh, that is in fact happening so connected to the big bore build is are these shocks so i'm going to paint them right now uh, also if you look over there in the darkness as the chassis and the swing arm so that is also getting painted so yeah let me put you guys on a tripod and then start painting these forks Thank you. 
So the painting and clear coating is done and as you can see there is a big run which is coming here. So I actually purposefully coated a lot of layers of clear on these because um, I accidentally mixed a lot more than I needed. Um, so yeah, so this is painted by me and this one is painted by a so-called professional so as you can see there are uh, dings uh, you can see the uh, you know prep is not done properly so if you hear how much I paid for all this you will definitely go bonkers so yeah, this was a good experiment. So only this one has a bit of run. So probably what I'll do is I'll let it drip out and then let it dry. So once it dries out, I think uh, this will be all right. And otherwise I'll cut this with 2000 and buff it out. So yep. Yeah. Um, I actually had some paint reaction in this area that was primarily because uh, uh, there was some old factory paint over there so as you can see the outside isn't that ugly and it is not that noticeable uh, most of the reaction is inside so I think uh, I can live with that uh, so yeah before I end this video I'll let you hear the sweet rumble of a twin cylinder a perfectly twin tuned so I wish you guys could smell that um, it's a cold start so that's why it is idling little higher it will settle down in a minute or two somewhere around 1200 1300 rpm so as you can see it's already kind of settling down so this is on 32 mm flat slides i don't know whether you guys can see it let me shine some light there so yeah, there you go. And pod filters. So I have kind of made this uh, bike little presentable. So this is the rear mudguard paint job I was talking about. I will replace this uh, metal ring. I have another one so which will be plated in due course of time and uh, there is some bit of uh, you know pitting over there as well so I'll see if I can remove the swing arm and get that painted alone so now that the idle is kind of settled you can see it is idling at around 1800 inch which is okay for a twin cylinder so let's rev this baby up so it goes all the way till it pulls like a freight train actually it pulls around till around 10,000 rpm so let me just turn this off so all right um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did like share and subscribe um, so that's about it um, thanks for watching have a great night bye bye